Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're showcasing version 2 of the rolling cutter and cross ripper slasher build or budget build for the guillotine cross. Um, similar to the um, version 2 um, video um, from a couple days ago, um, this actually has a lot of similarities, but this one's a little bit more complicated because we're running the dragon plate armor sets, which um, are farmable from the um, Abyss Dungeon 4, um, which is higher level map, but you know, it's, it, it is 170 required. Um, we're still using the old bone circlet just particularly because of the additional 20% damage for cross ripper slasher every two refines. Um, also, as mentioned from the last video, instead of acute, you would rather use either metal master archer if you want to focus on CRS and um, probably like purple, purple. Um, Ferris card, yeah. Um, we're running the Illusion Booster RNL here, attack 5%. Um, we've got Fatal, um, Attack Speed, and Expert Archer, as well as the Sewage Cramp card, which um, combos with the Ares card and the Mutant Delore card for additional damage on Rolling Cutter. So the card itself gives 10% uh, uh, Rolling Cutter damage, but if you have all three cards, um, you get an additional 20% plus an additional 5% every um, um, every upgrade level of the boots where the Ares card is, you know. Um, Illusion Booster L, same thing, but we're just running the um, Gold Scaraba card here. Um, this is required level 30, and um, you can just make it from the Illusion 17.1 episode. So should be a lot easier um we are running the avaricia metal here just for additional damage on cross ripper slasher and rolling cutter at plus 11 you get up to 25 percent each and we're also running the mutant delore card here which is obviously we don't really use a lot of critical damage but we need it to um actually turn on the combo with the sewage cram card and eris card now, Demon's Familiar, we're going to see a lot of uh, videos around Demon's Familiar because um, a lot of sin weapons, a lot of builds that you can actually do around it. Um, with the Avarisha Metal, we got additional 200 attack and additional 200 M attack, which actually helps a lot for um, for people that don't really have, um, you know, OCPs. Um, plus, it's a very, very cheap OCP. Now. It gets complicated once you look at the armor set, uh, red dragon plate, um, attack plus 2% per two refines uh, for every three levels, uh, refine levels, increase uh, physical damage against dragons by 7%, and um, at plus 11, you get additional damage to medium and large size by 10% and 0.2 second FCT reduction. Now, once you have everything, the plate, the hood, and the um, the boots. Um, you actually get um, attack plus 15 per 15 base strength. Um, and Dragon Smite, this actually only activates if you actually get physically hit. Um, basically for 10 seconds, um, you get attack plus 10%. If you are at strength to 120, um, it's attack uh, plus 15%. Now, the it's like it's like the combo when everything is at plus 11 or at plus 33 you actually get um plus 20 percent um attack speed and plus 25 percent acd reduction which doesn't really matter for uh for, for this build but um it actually really helps for um some of our other content in the future um the we obviously we need the the dragon scale hood um for um, for the combo, but it actually gives you um, some additional like tw the recover 200 HP every second for three seconds when you're um, Physically attacked when that activates it's actually pretty good um, You can actually enchant this as well um, as the boots um, Dragon scale boots. Um, we put the uh, Ares guard here um, reduce variable variable casting time by 7% and um, Reduce uh, damage taken from dragon monsters by 2% doesn't really matter a lot and um, You know the chance to recover 500 SP every second for three seconds when you get physically attacked uh, I'm sorry when when, when uh, yeah, when you know 
when you're, you're getting hit physically or uh, or a magical attack. So this is the entire build. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of a damage test. All right, we're gonna start the test with the neutral egg. It's about 34 to 36 k per hit. About 230 to 250 k damage for um, cross server slasher. Let's see with the EDP, we gain about 96 to 106 k per hit on the rolling cutter, and about 630 to 680. Uh, 680k damage for uh, Cross River Slasher. Alright, next we're gonna go do the test for the Fire Egg. And uh, we're gonna enchant ourselves with water. About 42k to 45k damage for Rolling Cutter. Between 380 and about 310k for um, Cross River Slasher. Yeah, that's good, 130 to 150 something. For rolling cutter, about 950 to, to over a million for cross river slasher. It's actually not as strong as the last build, but pretty good. And so, guys, that concludes our um, showcase for the rolling cutter and uh, cross river slasher build for the Gulking Cross this time, version two. Um, like I said at the beginning, this um, this build is a little bit more complicated because um, it takes a little bit of time to uh, get the armor set, um, especially for the dragon plates, the hood, and the scale. It is doable. It's just going to take a lot of time and um, might be a little bit expensive if you actually buy the the, the dragon balls or the, um, you know, the the other stuff, but. There's a lot of applications for the Dragon Plate set that, um, you know, this is probably the first one that you're going to see on the channel, but you're going to see a lot more coming up in the next uh, couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, because the armor set is actually very optimal for some of the other builds, especially for the ACD reduction, the VCT reduction, even the FCT minus two, uh, 0.2 seconds actually helps with um, finishing up with a lot of other builds. So I hope you enjoy this video and look forward to some of the new ones in the next few weeks.